What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the mermaid gang. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me here. Okay. All right. So obviously from the title, you can tell this is a Q&A. I want to jump right into it. I'm not going to make it a long one. These videos tend to get very freaking long. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Some things manifest and some things don't. Do I need to affirm for my manifesting abilities first or will just focusing on the new story get me my desire? <sighs> okay, see this is why I said I can't answer a lot of questions because I'm going to go probably in depth on some of these. So, first of all, you're never not manifesting. It's not that some things manifest and some things don't. It's that some things you want manifest and sometimes, because of reasons, they don't. My hair is just being kind of wild right now. It's just doing what it wants, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore it, okay. Also, yes, I changed my hair. Whatever, we're used to this. I, you know, you know me. I do this all the time. Okay. So, we're always manifesting. Everything you're experiencing is a manifestation. You can never not be manifesting. It is your nature to manifest. You are, actually, and that's the thing. Maybe, maybe manifesting isn't the best word necessarily because it really gives people the idea that there's like a default and that we can like, wish for cool things or like manifest cool things that we want or manifest things that we want. But that's not how it is. It is that we are constantly selecting our experience. Like you're controlling everything, every single thing. Of course, a lot of things come from the main collective, which is what, you know, basically majority of the world agrees on, which therefore instills more belief in us about it. And then we keep it manifesting, you know, habitual, cycle all that stuff that I kind of talked about in the last video but you're always manifesting so whatever you're experiencing even if it's an unwanted experience you're selecting it essentially it's you've deemed it a possibility for you and you've put awareness on it awareness is what brings it into your experience so if you are having success with some things and you're not having success with other things, with choosing them and experiencing them, then it is because you probably deem those other things easier. And so you have less resistance. We've talked about this resistance. Um, the more opposing thoughts, resistance is just opposing thoughts. The more opposing thoughts you have to something, the more you're selecting the opposite of it the longer or harder it is for it to manifest. There's nothing actually harder to manifest. It's more so what you're choosing, what story you're choosing about it. So if you're trying to manifest something that you think is like a harder thing to manifest or something less possible for you, then you really have to watch how you think of this thing because if you're still thinking like, oh, I'm doing my affirmations and then outside of your affirmations, you're still thinking as if you don't have the thing, wondering where it is, you know, opposing thoughts, then that's what's gonna make it, make it seem like some things manifest, some things don't. It's not that. It's the story you're choosing around it versus other things. It And the story could simply be that you think that thing is harder than, than the other things. That is a choice, a possibility you are choosing about this thing. You can assume that something is harder and it your experience with it must be that it is harder. So in this case, you could just simply tell yourself that it's so easy for you to manifest. You can do this with anything. Anything that you deem harder to manifest or less possible for you, just start telling yourself the opposite because it's still a selection of an experience. You're still selecting your state by the way you think about it. And if you would just tell yourself that everything is so easy, even going into specifics, this specific thing is super easy for me, then you would change one, the way you see it because you're selecting a different state about it. And it would be much easier for you to obtain, seem more possible 
to the point of you actually being able to easily manifest it. You are always selecting your experience. Experiences are not just, I'm so freaking rich. And experiences, I believe that it's very easy to be rich versus I believe it's very hard to be rich. Mindset is an experience, is a selection. You are selecting the type of mindset that you have. That is also a state. So you're, when I say you're literally in control of everything, everything, you really are. You're selecting it all. When manifesting videos talk about lack, what do they mean you can't affirm from a state of lack? I think what they're trying to say is that you can't obtain something by thinking as if you don't have it, which is true. But if they mean like you can't feel upset or something like that, I don't know. If they're thinking of lack as like a feeling or an emotion, then that really has nothing to do with it. As long as you're thinking as if you have something, you will manifest it. You will get it. You will select that experience and experience it. Can you please make a video on sexual orientation? No coaches ever talk about it. Like for example, what if I'm straight and my SP is gay or vice versa? Can I manifest them as my partner? Also, can I revise their sexuality as if they were never gay or straight? Well, one reason why I don't talk about it that much is because I feel like because I am obviously just straight. I mean, I'm married to my husband. I don't feel like I can speak for people who's who we don't have the same experience, you know what I mean? So I, I don't feel comfortable a lot of times speaking for someone else, like that's not my experience, so I can't speak for you. I don't know what you feel, you go through, you think. I can't speak for something that's not my experience. So that's most of the time maybe why others don't also, and because maybe it could be a touchy subject just on the internet these days, we know how the internet is these days. But here's what I will say. You, their sexuality or sexual preference, once again, just like everything else, it's a state. So I wouldn't even focus on who they're attracted to or what they're attracted to. I would simply focus on like, if you are attracted to that person, you wanna be with that person, I would see it no different as manifesting anyone else, regardless of their sexual orientation, regardless of their sexual preference, regardless of anything like that, it really doesn't matter. What matters is, okay, I want to be with this person, so I'm going to select a version of them that also wants to be with me. Because if you can desire it, there is a version of them that exists that, that wants to be with you. So I wouldn't even factor in any of that because it's kind of another thing where circumstances don't matter, like that's irrelevant. That, that It's almost no different than being like, oh, I don't think I can manifest this guy because I have brown hair and he only has a history of dating blondes. Like, it's irrelevant, you know what I mean? So like, no matter who you're attracted to, what their sexual preference is or sexual orientation, it's irrelevant. Don't even consider that as a factor, just, just, because, they, just because they fully, maybe are only attracted to the same sex, they could still decide that they're attracted to you. You know what I mean? So I don't feel like you even have to change anything about them. You're just selecting a version of them that wants to be with you. That's it. You don't really have to do or change anything else. And you're not changing anyone anyway. You're selecting the version of them that is who you want. So I hope that clears that up. I've seen quite a few questions about that. So I figured I would answer it this time because it's really not... It's not a big deal. It's not a big thing to consider. You're just, just like any other situation, you're just selecting the version of them that wants to be with you, regardless. Do you have any tips for when your mind is fighting you about manifestation? For example, the fear that it won't happen. Remember, we talked about this. Your mind is a habitual thing. It likes what it's familiar with. So we, that's why we use repetition so that we can make it familiar with something new. So of course at first, your brain is gonna be like, hey, no, no, this is what we know, 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 this is what we know. And it's gonna keep trying to take the same path. But the more you build the new pathway, and the more you make the new way familiar, it's going to want to take that route instead. That's gonna become the new familiar. That's gonna be the new dominant. So you just have to keep conditioning it with the repetition, whether it's affirmations or visuals or scripting or the feeling, whatever. I don't really care how you do it, 
but you just have to make it familiar. So instead of flipping thoughts or fighting your thoughts, I know I used to be like, flip your thoughts. I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like there's no need to flip the thoughts. Just keep redirecting back to your affirmations because your opposing thoughts, even though they might be a bunch of different thoughts, they're still pertaining to the same argument. So it's still fighting your new belief you're trying to instill. So just keep redirecting to the new belief and those thoughts will go away because it will become more familiar with the new and the old won't exist anymore. You can't be in two states at one time. It doesn't matter which affirmation I pick as long as I stick with it until it manifests, right? Well, I wouldn't say that it doesn't matter what affirmation you pick. I would pick one that implies that you have exactly what you want. And then yes, stick to it until it manifests. Manifest in your SP and then out of nowhere you get blocked. They also know about manifestation. No fears or doubts that they don't want me or will reject me or anything like that. This was just unexpected. Um, the way you just said they know about manifestation makes me think that you possibly think that that, is the, that could stop it. You say no fears or doubts that they don't want me or will reject me. But it seems like because you mentioned the fact that they know about manifestation, that registers to you as a, as a reason, uh, them knowing about manifestation could st stop yours from working is what it sounds like you might have in the back of your mind, which would probably be why you think that because they know about manifestation that they can stop yours or somehow keep it from happening but that's not the case that has nothing to do with anything so it seems like that is the reason why and regardless of what happened this is still no different than any other situation you should keep affirming and you should disregard that factor because that doesn't matter it's irrelevant that they know about manifestation you should keep affirming keep selecting the state and it will turn back around. Revise it, move past it. It didn't happen, do Lulu, deny anything. That is not what you want. No, no, nothing changes the, the rules, the method, the way that it works. Nothing changes that. Just because they know, just because they know about manifestation doesn't mean that there's like different tactics. No, it's still deny anything you don't want and keep thinking as if they are who you want them to be doing what you want them to do. What to do if you can't hear your thoughts, you can't affirm if you can't hear them. Like I said, there's so many other ways to use repetition and to get into the state of the wish fulfilled. You can script, you can visualize, you could affirm out loud if you want to. If you have times where you're alone, you can affirm out loud. You could um, use an app and record your own affirmations and have them playing through the day or at night. If you can't hear your thoughts, you don't have audible thoughts, then just feed yourself out loud the thoughts or use visualization. You don't have to affirm. Affirming is not the end all be all. Just because I stand by affirming and because I use it and because that is my go to doesn't mean that's your go to. There are people who are strictly visualization. There are people who strictly love scripting. There are people who strictly love the telephone method. Like they hear, they like to hear someone telling them something, but they might not have a visual. It's similar to visualization, but without the pictures. I personally just enjoy picking an affirmation and using that, repeating it. It's easiest for me. It works best for me. That's my thing which is why I teach that on my channel because it's my channel and I'm teaching from my experience. But don't think that because I'm teaching it and I appreciate that you guys like have so much trust in me and you want to do what I do. But remember, it still is gonna work the same for you by you using your own method. You don't have to use my method of robotic affirming or 10 minute method unless it works for you and you enjoy it. If it is a struggle for you, if visualization has worked for you in the past, if scripting has worked for you, if telephone or whatever way that you have ever manifested things has worked for you, don't think that because Sammy said affirming 
is what she does or farming is what she prefers that that's what I have to do. No, you don't. You don't have to do that. You need to do it your way, but the lesson is still the same. I'm still here teaching you the same thing. No matter what way we each figure out how to get into our desired state, it's still the same. We might use a different method, we might drive a different car, but we're still getting to the same location. You still can do things your way and it will be even more beneficial for you to choose your, your way that works best for you to get into your desired state. Because if you're trying to force yourself to do something just because I do it, but visualization works better for you, then you're, you're hindering yourself. Don't do that. You, you don't have to do exactly what I do, but take my lessons as the, the foundation is, however it is that you repeatedly select your desired state, that the more you will stay in that desired state and you'll create an assumption and you will experience the things that you want. Okay? I just wanted to say that. I wanted to end this video with that because I see a lot of people being like, oh, visualization worked for me, but Sammy says affirming, so I have to affirm. No, you don't. I am always going to teach from my experience because it is my channel, but still, you don't have to use my method. Don't stress. Make it easy. Take the path of least resistance. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.